So what was Michelle A's role during this whole time while you were at death row? Super bitch. Super bitch. Like, I, first off, I'm asking my, the people I worship with to forgive me, but I want to be just as honest as pop possible. The devil. If, if you ever, if you, I don't know if God is a man or a woman, but I definitely know that bitch is the devil. For sure. Why so? Why so? She destroyed lives. And I don't know what she did to nobody else, but I know what she did to me. What did she do to you? Um, after a while, I wasn't able to get to Suge. Uh, I wasn't able to get to Suge because I just didn't know the process of visiting him, and they were saying he couldn't have any visitors. A few years went by, and you know they, cut, they started playing with my money, with my allowance. And she was the person that was stamping the checks. And we would get our allowance on the first of every month. And uh, she just cut me off, stopped it, took my car before that. I never seen the car again. Uh, when I came back from, while I was in Chicago from Los Angeles, I called back on my, uh, to check my house phone, the voicemail. And uh, another girl was, somebody else was living in my house. All of my things were taken out of the house. Like, like, and, and she did it herself. So I sent in for, uh, my contract said that I could have an account statement done twice a year. I think I was 19 years old, maybe 20. And I sent in for an account statement. Uh, and she sent back ledgers to me. And in these ledgers, it was, you know, a thick, just thick papers. And in the ledgers, it had different things highlighted, like hamburgers that was bought for me, highlighted. Birthday gifts, highlighted. Christmas gift, highlighted. And I turned to like the third or the fourth page, my mother's funeral, uh, my mother's uh, uh, burial. The money Suge had sent me some money. My mother had insurance, but Suge sent me some money uh, when my mother passed, and that was highlighted. Uh, you know, so she were doing things to, to really pick at people and to destroy me. Like, she didn't want me around death row. She didn't want no artists. All she wanted was just, Mich it was about the Michelle LA party. She blew up balloons for herself. It was, it was all about her. So Michelle A had a, a baby with Dr. Dre and she ended up having a relationship with Suge and ended up having a baby with Suge later on. You think that created any sort of tension I'm between sure. Dre and Suge? Yeah, that's what most hoes do. Host, uh, most problems that come in between, unfortunately, guys, it's, it, it's either a money or a hoe problem. And uh, yeah, she's a hoe. If she's from the neighborhood and it's, if we were to take it back and say it on a hip hop level, she's a hoe. She was seeing two friends, two dudes that was doing business. Not only that, you know, she hung out with Suge's wife. She hung out with, she, they were friends. Like, can you imagine Dr. Dre being in business with Suge and he had a girl and Suge had a girl? Can you imagine before they made it, the dinner parties that they had of the, and, and the celebration that they probably all uh, did celebrated together as a group of friends? And then she became his, his girl? Yeah, that's, that's pretty nasty. I interviewed Daz, and he, he showed me this one video. I look at a lot of videos and shit that's on YouTube and shit. I, I gotta find this one video on YouTube where she come in the studio and put her hands all on Tupac's chest and his head and shit. And I'm, I'm looking like, damn, did he get the pussy? You know what I mean? Hmm. So, Suge Knight, Dr. Dre, Tupac. I mean, was there, was there any sort of you know, did you ever see any of that? I, I can't say, I, I can't say, I, I doubt it. She was messing with Suge at the time. And they were, I knew when they first started, well, I don't know when they first started messing around, but I remember being there in private moments and, you know, us, I was always with them. So I knew of it when nobody else knew of it, that they were messing around. Uh, and it, if that Suge girl, I mean, everybody kind of knows Suge girls is off the limit and nobody wanted to mess with us. They wanted to mess with Suge, the big boss. You know what I mean? If he got him, no, that's his girl, you know? Uh, I, I don't know, but, you know, she was a drunk, too, so she could have been just rubbing on him because she was a drunk at that time. Now, you had mentioned that, that everyone at death row was getting, like, an allowance, where yeah. you said, like, Snoop and them got, like, you know, well, Snoop got, like, a 50000 
a week or a month allowance and, I don't, and everyone got different allowances? I, you know, I think Snoop was getting allowance like everybody else. I know what I was getting, uh, but everybody on the label, all the artists that came there that he signed, he, he had everybody on the allowance. One there. One on my back there. You see it? Okay. One there, one under there, a few. Oh, so you got stabbed all over your body? Yeah. There ain't no loser game from that, you know what I mean? So, I don't see no reason to lie. Yeah. Punch, punch a little Quentin in his mouth. He seemed like a nice guy, man.